Hello Mango, today we are going to do a Pilates workout to stretch and strengthen your whole body. That means we are going to build all the muscles and strengthen and also gonna release all the muscles at the end to make you feel good and feel energized. So if you're ready, just roll your mat. Let's do this together. Hey love, you got your heart on your sleeve but the shirt on your back's a bit small. Change in the world ain't half bad after all. All right, let's start by some warm up before we start the main workout. So, I wanted to sit on the mat on the sitting bones. Feel free to cross the legs or open and bend your knees if it feels more comfortable on the hips. Now, hands on your knees, lengthen the spine, relax your shoulders, take a deep inhalation, and exhale deeply through your mouth. And a couple more times, you can close your eyes and feel how your body connecting to the mat through your sitting bones, you know. And exhale deeply. Relax your shoulders and a couple more times. And exhale deeply. And one more deep breath. Exhale deeply. Open your eyes when you're ready. Rotate the shoulders fully to four directions. And then reverse. Do it slowly with your own speed. Open your arms to the side, relax your shoulders, and start to reach your hand to one side and to the opposite side. Back to the center, a couple more times. I want to do it a little bit slower to really feel the stretch. So reach as far as you feel good on the lower back. Inhale. And exhale. And one more deep breath. And exhale deeply and slowly bring your torso back to the center. Hands behind your head. And lengthen. And bend. And lengthen. And a couple more times. Relax your shoulders and stabilize your shoulders here. When you lengthen your arms, try to reach as far as you can and bend. And a couple more times. And last one. And slowly bring your hands on the knees again. Gently shake your hips. Now I wanted to inhale, rotate the torso to one side. Look backward. And switch to the opposite side. And a couple more times to the other side and slowly bring it back to the center. Articulate your spine and round your spine, cat and cow in sitting position. Inhale and exhale. And one more time and round and slowly bring your torso back to the center. Now I wanted to inhale and come to sit along the mat. Lengthen the legs, flex the ankles, arms to the front, palms facing down. Inhale and round your spine, flex forward. And exhale, come back, lengthen the spine and relax your shoulders. We're gonna try to do five more times here. So round forward and come back. You don't have to go all the way, but just go as far as you feel good with your lower back. Make sure you flex the ankle the whole time. So round and lengthen and round again and lengthen and two and last one. And slowly sit tall, hands on the thighs. Extend the ankle, gently shake your hips. We are going to start the main workout from here. So I want us to inhale, bring your arms to the front. Again, palms facing down. Extend and relax your shoulders. You can soften the knees a little bit if it's easier for the hips. I want us to inhale and lean backward. Try to open your chest and round your spine. And open and round. And a couple more times. I want you to learn a little bit further away if it feels more challenging 
on the abs. <laughs> Good, keep breathing. Round up and lengthen. And last one. Now from here, go a little bit further, open your chest, lengthen the spine, arms to the front, and start to pull one arm backward and lengthen to the other side and back to the center. And nine more times each side to make it 10. Feel free to move your torso forward a little bit. It is easier for the lower back. And the next movement, I wanted to allow yourself to lie all the way down on your back. Open your arms to the side. Press your feet down, open your legs a bit apart. Pull the belly button all the way in. Inhale. And exhale. Now draw your hip bones and draw your hips all the way up. Again, engage your abs and start to rotate your hips from left to right, slowly. And a couple more times, inhale. And exhale to the other side. Try to reach your hips a little bit higher and press your whole feet down. And make sure you keep your legs parallel to each other. And three, two, and last one, and slowly bring your hips back to the center. Now I wanted to allow yourself to inhale and lift your heels off the mat and bring your heels down 10 times. Last one, and slowly bring your feet down. Draw your hips all the way down to the mat. Lift your legs up, extend the ankle, and keep your arms along your body. Inhale and lengthen one leg. And exhale, lengthen all the way to the front. And bend and lengthen. And bend, reach. So engage your abs and press your whole hips down to the mat. Only your leg is moving. We're going to do on the right side first before we move to the left one. That's awesome. Inhale and exhale, reach and come back and lengthen. Good. And last one and switch to the opposite side, lengthen, and bend to the front and come back. Inhale halfway and exhale halfway. Keep breathing. And two, try to reach all the way up, but don't have to be lengthened the whole way. Just listen to your hips. And last one, and slowly bring your feet down to the mat. Gently shake your hips. Now use your hand to support your head. Open your elbows wider. And I wanted to allow yourself to inhale, lift your chest up, pull the belly button in. Try to reach a little bit higher. And then bring it down slowly. Exhale, reach and inhale down. You can make it more challenging by lengthen one leg up and bend and to the other side and inhale, bend. A couple more times with your own breath. 
Good. And two. To the right. And last one to the left. Come back, last one to the right. And slowly bring your head down to the mat. Now keep your arms along the body, palms facing up. Pull your chin toward the chest, just gently. And then lift your chest up. So you're gonna feel the six back abs are working here. Shoulders stabilized and start to make a little pulse with your whole arms. You can use your hand to support your head anytime if you feel like it's more comfortable with the neck and switch to the opposite side. Or use both hands, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. And rotate your palms facing down, do the same thing. A couple more times. And three, two, and last one. And slowly bring your head down, hug your knees to your chest. Start to bring your legs from left to right. Take a deep inhalation. And exhale deeply. And slowly bring your torso back to the center. Lengthen your legs. Flex the ankle. Open your arms to the side. Press your whole shoulder blades down and open your legs to the side. And come back. 10 times. Slowly bring it back. Three, squeeze your inner thighs. Engage your abs. And last one, open. And bring it back. And slowly bend your knees. Extend the ankle. Lift and lengthen your legs to the diagonal. Arms along the body. And inhale, slowly bring one leg down. And lift it up to the other side and come back. Lift your legs a little bit higher if it's easier for you to keep the lower back in neutral position. Nine, lengthen your whole leg. Imagining that someone pulling your leg away from your hips. Keep breathing. Or you can lower your legs a little bit if you want to challenge more on the lower abs. And three more times each side. And last one. And slowly bend your knees, bring your feet down. Gently rotate the hips. And then reverse. Inhale deeply through your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. Awesome. Now I wanted to lift your legs up. Open your knees to the side. And I wanted to inhale, lift your arms up to the ceiling. Open your arm to the side. Exhale, reach your torso up. And inhale, bring your torso down. You can make it more challenging by move your legs further away and bring it back. Or you can just use one hand to support your head anytime if you need to make it easier for the neck. Awesome. Good. Reach a little bit higher and use your chest to lead the movement. Not your neck, not your head. Awesome. Inhale. And exhale, reach up and inhale down. Don't hold your breath at all. Three, two, and last one. And slowly hug your knees to your chest. 
Take a deep inhalation. And exhale deeply through your mouth. And one more deep breath. And exhale deeply. Awesome. Now you need to allow yourself to inhale. Lean on one side to do side kick. Lengthen your bottom leg, your top leg. Lengthen and lift just above the hips. Inhale and slowly bend your knees. Bring your knee forward. And lengthen again when you bring it back to the original position. So bend, move forward, come back and lengthen. Eight more times. Keep breathing. Stabilize the hips. Pull the belly button in. Press your lower leg down. Keep the same 90 degree on your knee when you bring your leg forward. And two. And last one. And slowly bend your bottom knee, press your leg down. Bend your top knee and pull your leg all the way backward. As far as you can go without moving your hips. And from here, I want to inhale, lengthen your leg and kick all the way forward. And come back, knee bend again. Reach as far as you can, engage your abs. And lengthen kick. And bring it back. Try to reach a little bit, make a little pause before you kick forward. Good. Really engage your abs to stabilize your hips. And four. Three. And two. Awesome. And last one. And slowly bring your leg back to the center. Good. Now the next movement, bend both knees to 90 degrees, extend the ankle. Inhale and lift your top leg just above the hips. Slowly pull the belly button in and bring your toes touching each other and touch the knee. So 10, 9, keep breathing, 8, 7. Try to open as far as you can. Five, squeeze your inner thighs. Three, two, and last one. And slowly bring your leg back to the center. Now I want to inhale, lengthen your bottom leg, extend the ankle, lift your leg up and bring it down. Feel your inner thighs is working in this position. Last one, and slowly bend both knees. Go to the opposite side. Again, lengthen your bottom leg. The top leg lift up just above the hips. Now bend your knee and pull all the way forward. Come back, lengthen, and bend again forward. Couple more times with your own breath. Stabilize the hips. Relax your shoulders. In three, reach like someone pulling your leg away from the hips. Two. Awesome. And last one. And slowly. Bend your bottom knee. Your top leg bend to 90 degree, move all the way backward. And from here, lengthen your leg, kick to the front, and bring it back, bend your knee again. Make a precise movement, but also make a smooth transition between two moves.
slowly. Keep breathing. Inhale and exhale, come back. Four and three, two and last one. And slowly bring your torso back to the center. Take a deep inhalation. And exhale deeply through your mouth. And one more deep breath. And exhale deeply. Bring both legs to 90 degrees. Extend the ankle. Lift your top leg just above the hips. And now inhale. Knee touch and toes touch. 10. 9. Squeeze your inner thighs. 8. 7. Do it slowly. 6. Keep breathing. Five, four, still engage your abs. Three, awesome. And two, and last one, down and lift. And slowly bring your leg back, lengthen your bottom leg. Extend the ankle, lift your leg up and bring your leg down 10 times. Last one, lift and down and slowly bend your knees, take a deep inhalation and exhale deeply through your mouth. Lie all the way down on your belly. Interlace your fingers all the way back. Shoulders far away from your ears, pull the belly button in, squeeze your booty, open your legs and pull your torso up and down. 10 times, stay with your own breath. Eight, seven, keep breathing, six, inhale and exhale, come back, open your chest, three, two, and last one, and slowly bring your hands next to your chest, push your whole forearms down, push your shoulders far away from your ears, Pull the belly button in, lift your hip bones off the mat. Now inhale, and I want you to tuck the feet. Lift your whole body up, come to forearm plank. And knees bend, and lengthen, and four. Come back, three, stabilize your torso, and two, inhale, and exhale. And last one, down, and lengthen and slowly bend your knees lie all the way down on the mat gently shake your hips take a deep inhalation and exhale deeply through your mouth and one more deep breath and exhale deeply all right now the next movement lengthen your arms over your head lift your torso up lift your arms up start to make a little pulse like a swimming inhale deeply to your nose stabilize your whole body only your arms and legs are moving. Gently breathing here. And slowly bring your torso down. Now lift your whole legs up and down. Arms up and down. Ten times. Slowly. And nine. It. Squeeze your inner thighs, squeeze your booty. Three. And two. And last one. And slowly bring your legs down. Hand next to your chest, close your elbow. Inhale and lift your torso up, arch your back and slowly bring it down. Just go as far as you feel comfortable with the lower back. Don't go too far. So inhale, even just a little bit. 
like a tiny arch. And you feel good on stretch, and that's perfect. Good. Inhale. And exhale. And one more time. And exhale. Tap your feet. Now, round your spine. Come to tri pose. Lengthen the spine again. Gently shake your hips from left to right. We're gonna do some cool down part from here before we complete the workout today. So walk your hands to the left. And walk your hands to the right. And slowly bring your torso back to the center. Come to on top position. Dip your shoulders down between your arms and lift it up. Keep your back in neutral. Inhale. And exhale. And three, two, and last one. Now arch your back, shoulders down, forward. And then round your spine, chin your chest, belly button in. And arch your back again, inhale. And round your spine. And three more times, slowly. Shoulders far away from your ears when you're arching your back. And last one. And slowly bring your torso back to the center. Keep your knees to the center, lengthen one leg. And inhale, bring your heel backward. Feel the back of your lower leg is stretching. Make a gentle movement so you're gonna feel more stretching here and go to the opposite side. And come back. Bend one knee to the front. Hold it here for a couple seconds. Gently shake your hips. And to the opposite side. Shake your hips gently. Feel your hips are stretching. Take a deep inhalation. And exhale deeply. And slowly come back to seating position. Knees bend. Good. And now you want to allow yourself to open your arm to the side. You can cross your legs here if it feels good with your back. Lean on one side. To the side bending. And to the opposite side. And slowly back to the center. Inhale. And exhale. To the other side. And come back. Do it with your own speed. Go as far as you feel good. And back to the center. Feel the whole one side of your body is stretching. Come back. And one more time. To the opposite side. And slowly bring your torso back to the center. Soften your elbows. Round your spine like you're hugging a big bear. And come back. Inhale, open your chest. Round your spine, exhale again. And inhale, open. And round. You can close your eyes. Listen to your own breath. And feel how your spine is moving. You're going to do it with your own speed. With your own breath. Inhale. And exhale. And one more time. And round. And slowly bring your hands on the knees. Gently shake your hips. Keep closing your eyes from here. So bring your head to one side to feel the side of your neck is stretching. You can use your hand to pull the head towards the side a little bit more. Gently and slowly. So that way we have control. Come back to the opposite side. Go a little bit further. And slowly bring your head back to the center. Look down. You can use your hand 
and rest on the head so that way you feel the back of your neck is stretching. Lengthen. And rotate your head from left to right slowly. And back to the center. One more time. To the other side. And slowly bring your head back, hands on knees again. Take a deep inhalation. And exhale deeply through your mouth. Rotate your shoulders fully to four directions. And then reverse. Now open your arm to the side and start to rotate big circle with your whole arms. Stabilize your torso. And then reverse. Keep closing your eyes and feel how your body keep balancing while doing this movement. And slowly bring your arms back to the center. Reach your hand to one side and to the opposite side. Come back a couple more times each side with your own speed. Slowly move and slowly feel how your body feel the way it is. Awesome. Last one. To the other side and back to the center, hands on the knees. Take a deep inhalation and exhale deeply through your mouth. You can stay here for as long as you need to. Pause the video and feel free to do that. Take one more deep breath. If Exhale deeply. And whenever you're ready, open the eyes slowly. And that's the workout today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.